Welcome back in. Well, as you guys can see, we are joined now by some special guests here in the studio, and we are blessed and thrilled to be joined by the Casa Roble football team out of Orangeville. And representing the Rams, we're going to start off on this side. We have senior captain Joe Dexter, and standing next to him, we have senior lineman with the best mullet of all time, <laughs> Brian McElroy. Yeah, shake it around. Let him know. All right. Now we're going to go to this side. He has no mullet, but he's still pretty cool himself. Senior captain Logan March. And standing next to him, the coach, he has the best hair ever. Yeah. <laughs> the head man in charge, Chris Horner. Right on. Thank you guys so much for being here on your Sunday evening. Cool. All right. Well, let's talk about it. You guys are off to a 7-1 and one start. You guys are undefeated in league play thus far. What is going so well for the Rams team uh, this, this time of the year? Who wants to go first? Joe, give, it, give us your thoughts. I, I mean, our defense this year has been amazing, man. I mean, just holding people under 20 points, under 30 points, and our offense has just been enough. But we've been good, so. Yeah. We're at that point in the season now where you don't want to look too far ahead, but playoffs right around the corner. You're trying to hit your stride right now, right? This is where you really want to We're start to We're definitely trying to hit our stride. We, we got a saying when we get together, whenever, don't worry about Friday when it's Monday. Yeah. And right now we got Pioneer on the brain. Our biggest thing this late in the season, we, we've got a roster of 36 healthy cats. We started the season with 42. We've got to stay healthy. That's mm -hmm. the big thing. Get in with a win, get out healthy, and let's move on to the next page. So, yeah, it's it's easy for everyone to look at all the things, and, and I'm just as guilty. But, yeah, we, we got to stay one game at a time, and this week we got Pioneer on the brain. So Kind of building off what Coach was saying, though, on like a percentage, like 100% being you guys are at full capacity, you're clicking on all cylinders. Where are you guys at right now in terms of like how much better you can still get? I mean, there's a lot of room to improve, but I feel like, you can always get better. There's no team in the world that's at 100%, but I feel like uh, I can't give you a percentage, but I feel like we're pushing it. You guys are back-to-back -back league champs. Do you feel that they definitely have put the target on you guys, Pioneer, and other teams, I guess, and that they are looking to hunt you, seeing that you have to defend your league title again? Yeah, I was telling Matt earlier, I mean, I think – I don't know the exact numbers, but for the last five years, it's been Pioneer and Cassa going back and forth. Dixon had a, a league champion there a couple of years ago, but it, it, we, this one circled on the on the calendar. We know it's going to come down to that. We were we were looking last week. Part of us were hoping that Dixon was going to lose to Pioneer because we knew that Pioneer had that us circled and we're circled on them. And it's 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 a nice little rivalry we got going for sure. Now, Logan, you can provide a really unique perspective because you do so much for this football team. You play all over the place, so. You have kind of a good, well-rounded view other than the coaching staff of, of how deep and how good this team is. So what's your perspective on just the Casa Roble Rams this year? Like, how overall talented is this football team? Our team is really talented. I mean, we have most of our players go both ways, so it's, it's, you know, going both ways is very hard. And watching, like, say, like, seven of our seven of 11 people on the field going both ways, like, all game long, it really shows, like, how good, like, conditioned and just skilled they are. But to you guys personally, as seniors, knowing the, your brothers on this team over the last how many how many years that you guys have played together, what is special about this team to you guys, and why do you carry that confidence with you? I would say that uh, we just get along really well. You know, as a, as a as a whole, I would say that our camaraderie is really good. We really don't get down on each other very much, and so when we're in tough situations and tough games, it goes a long way that we're you know don't have negative speech and that we are always fighting for each other. Yeah, you know, our team is special because we're best friends on the field and off the field. And, you know, like you said, we're brothers. So when it comes to practice, we do turn it up. We do get after it. <laughs> and we make sure we're all well prepared for the game. When we found out that Coach was bringing a couple of linemen, I got excited because I love talking to linemen because your perspective on the game is completely different. We see all the position players. We see where the ball is going, but we don't see the war that's happening in the trenches every single snap, every single play. What is it about being a lineman? Like, you have to have a love of the game of football to do what you guys do. So what is it about being a lineman that fires you guys up so much? Man, I love protecting the people that I love. And if I can help them do a good job, then I know I'm doing my job. You just get to punch somebody in the mouth every play, man. <laughs> it's a great time. <laughs> wow, I love that. Intensity. No hospitality shown by the, the Rams when you come and play them. So... You know, with, with that being said, I got to ask, 
uh, piggybacking off of that, you guys talked about the camaraderie and the connection of this team. What do you guys do to pump yourselves up before games? Do you have any pregame rituals? Anything that you guys do all together as a team before playing? Well, you know, we like to spice it up a little bit coming out of our, like, inflatable Ram. Mm -hmm. Last home game, you know, it came out with uh, Michael Myers mask, you know, walking it out, <laughs> you know, trying to strike some fear. You know, Coach got his little famous speech that he gives before the game, you know, that gets us going. And, you know, this week we got something special also. <laughs> The Castle Roble atmosphere is just incredible. You guys, the student section, just under the lights, amazing stadium, amazing feel, big community impact as well, the amount of community members that come out to play. So can someone describe to me what it's like playing in front of that crowd? Because I get fired up just shooting a game being around that crowd. Oh, I mean, it, it started off seven years ago when I got the job. Um, you know, their games. I mean, we were three and seven three years before we came in. We're just fortunate that I came in at the right time where some talent was starting to bloom. But they're now, they just went from games and now they're events. Like mm -hmm. Friday nights, Orange Valians love football when you're good at football. And we've been good at football for the last six or seven years. I mean, it helps when you're good. But everybody has ideas. Hey, how about, would you want to try this? There's this person with the American flag they want to bring out and, and prop it up on the, the, the stumps. And it's like this big, 100 foot American flag and it's like yeah that sounds awesome I'm not going to do it but if you want to do it bring it on out but they just become events over and over we're, we're tweaking it and doing something different fog machine DJ we started the DJ a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and it just adds to the atmosphere and, and people just love rolling out man but you're right you're right um, the student section they get up for it so um, this is to anybody here if you had to define what Casa Roble football is the brand of football you guys play how would you define that Win at all costs, and then, you know, celebrate after the game. Then we can be friends after the game. But first is win. <laughs> and Casa Ro I know Casa means house. What is Casa Roble? What is the translation of that in English? Who took, who Home took, of Oak. Home of Oak. House of Oak. House of Oak. Yes. Okay. I learn something new every day. There it is. Well, thank you, House of Oak and the Casa Roble <laughs> football team for coming on the show. They have Pioneer this Friday, which is definitely going to be a big game. So grab your popcorn for that one. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for coming on the show tonight. We really appreciate you. Right on. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.